Hi, it's Ching. So we're going to start the second part of the warm up. So remember, there's so many parts of our body. And uh, we just did the most uh, leg and the arm. Uh, we're going to go right to the forearm and your hands. So the relationship of your hands and forearm, OK? And let's see what they can do besides strengthen with the dumbbells. Right? You got all these fingers, right? So they're beautiful. So here we go. And they do a lot throughout the day, especially if you're on the computer, if you're a chef, you're, you're a musician. We are going to use them so much. So what happens if, if you need to use them, you need to strengthen them. You also what? Recover by stretching them out. So basic movement for the hands, OK? This is called extension. I call it Betty Boots eyelash. Everybody like long line eyelash. Let go. That's the extension. So you can see the muscle here. We'll call it the extensor. The softer side, the inside is called a flexor, which is your grab, right? And we do this all the time, driving, right? Weeding, gardening, computer, playing the violin. The hands always like this. So we're gonna we're gonna be fair. We're gonna do extension, flexion. There another thing. Your finger does what? Abduction. You the wrist too, on a deviation, right? Radius deviation. So we get all of them in. Here we go. You shake it out a little bit. You can do this on the chair if this is too hard for you. Okay, so I'm standing nice and tall. Remember the special triangle. Okay, like I said, you can you can sit on the rock or chair, but this is really good because I'm at the leg into them, strengthen my quadricep. Here you go. Add another triangle from upper triangle, lower triangle. Here you go. Exhale is one. Extend the finger two. And the three, can you see my scapula stay down? My neck is so happy. And, and six, and seven, we're going to do 10 times, eight, and nine, and the 10. Now squeeze one. So imagine you, you are wearing a boxing glove, you know, the foam there. So you squeeze those foam. So you kind of have a little space here. We'll call it a resistance, right? Use your mind to create that, that resistance. Three more, and go, and the two. And the one, shake it out. So that's the first, there's six movement. The first one is exception, extension, and flexion. Now I'm going to put my palm together. I'm turning a little bit. I'm going to open my elbow, press my finger together. I open, see, so see, I open my palm, okay? Exhale, two. Exhale, open the elbow, three. So I'm not doing this. Can you see my shoulder just pop? Mm -mm -mm. Exhale, going out. So scapula stabilize. Hollow your tummy. So my arm does abduction. Abduction is away from the center line. And go. Again, it's all in the purposeful movement. Knife focus. Focus seven. This one's actually in the focus nine. You can pick all the up too. And go. And go, last one. And great. So I'm stretching the pommel tendon connect to every single finger and your thumb. Shake it out. <sighs> OK, here. Again, I'll turn a little bit. I'm going to pivot on the heel of my palm. Can you see that? My finger is extended, right? We just want to extend. And then we're going to flex. So I clasp my hand. You know, Chinese like say, thank you so much, right? Power. So here we go. So we'll clasp your hands, switch. And then interlace the finger. Stop the right thumb on top first and the left. You get the idea? Okay, so we're going to start the right side. The right arm's leading. The right's on top and then the left. And all your right finger in front of the left finger and then switch. I'm going to do four times like that. Inhale and exhale. Always with the breath. Inhale, fill the lungs. Hollow tummy, exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. You get the idea. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to start with the left hand first, left on top. And the interlace the finger. And the inhale. And the exhale. If I'm going too fast for you, it's okay. You get the idea. Just do as much as you can. Even make a mistake because you go, oh my God. <laughs> and the right side one more set. Inhale. And the exhale. I used to do this with my grandson. And he's having fun. And the inhale and the exhale. It's so cute to watch in their beautiful little hands, right? Perfect. There's no arthritis in there or nodules whatsoever. And the inhale, that's what I want. And so this is arthritis prevention to move all your finger. 
and the inhale and the exhale again inhale and the exhale great shake it out a little bit you probably can feel all this wonderful sensation the muscle muscular sensation right it's better than lift with the dumbbell because you're not doing you're not working on the finger you ready you're gonna imagine again lots of imagination so keep your mind sharp you have eagle clawing can you see my finger I make a little bit spiral so sorry if you animal lover you know as I think about we catch you no know, eagle catching their prey right I'm sorry they don't eat grass so here you go there you go um catching and go and go so i'm working when strengthening every single you have 14 phalanges which is the joint your finger four finger has three thumb has two so together is 14. so you're gonna talk to them very strong one last time like an eagle and your strong leg and the light torso and return shake it out you ready here comes the hardest one this is one my little finger so little finger um, on your arm you have um, six channels cheat networking we'll call it and in TCM so this is one this is your heart and small intestine two like a bunny ear okay or piece and three a okay I learned this from American kids when I was growing up and the four in Taiwan and five and my neighbors a lot of American kids there Air Force and support the Vietnam War. So here you go, zero. So you're making zero. Here you go, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and the six. This is the Chinese six, okay? Go to, go to the fresh market, you go 60 cents, so all six dollars, okay, whatever. Six, this is your seven, seven dollars. Not that expensive, 70 cents. And the 80, and nine, and squeeze. Again, here you go, one. Uh, two and three one challenge the mind and the five all work together six seven and the eight and the nine and zero one more time one and two and three and the four a uh, five and six eight and the nine and the zero shake it out so that's the fifth movement now I'm going to bend the knee again, get ready. So every time you shake out, stand up to so release this. If you knew, you can feel your quadriceps really talking to you. So engage your dumb I always put my hands here so I know or put it back. It's either, right? Tell me what the sacred has to be what? Neutral. So ready? Inhale, exhale. I'm hugging. So now I'm working on the lateral rotator and medial rotator of the rotator cuff. There are four muscles there. And so, ah, nice massage in that shoulder joint again. So you look like octopus, your hands go, swim away and return. Swim away and swim away. So if I facing direct to you, right, and exhale. And exhale. I, I love where I live because the first thing I love is the gravel. I don't have tarp, right? So a lot of the grass, I come out, so of course I, I do a lot of weaving, um, but it's earth friendlier. Inhale, exhale, one. So I'm going to extend the elbow, extend the wrist, extend the finger. I flex the elbow, flex the wrist, and flex the finger. So this is one and two, fingers three. Now you reverse, three, two, one. Again, so this is on the land. Okay, slow motion of grabbing. You will see. Let's do two more like that. So you really pay attention. Anytime slow, it's wonderful, right? So you can have time, pay attention, mind, body, and breath. Here you go. We're going to go inhale one, inhale one, exhale one, inhale one, exhale one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guess what? We're going to do two on the inhale. One, two, exhale two, inhale two, exhale two, inhale two, exhale. So movements. Faster, but smaller, just your hands. Ready? Now three. One, two, three, two. Inhale, two, three, and five, six. Exhale, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep hugging. Can you feel this? It's called isometric contract. Shake it out. Ooh. You feel so much. This is so good in the wintertime to inhale. Exhale, going one. 
summertime there are a lot of activity so what you're gonna loosen them up pumping the blood to the muscles bring lots of oxygen for the muscles right the oxygen is carried by the blood so you got you do a lot of great stuff and exhale inhale exhale inhale so now we understand the relationship relationship of your your hands and your forearm let's do one more time so octopus on the land you grab with a slow movement so inhale extend exhale flexed extend the elbow wrist finger flex coming up inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale that's the two more times oh, lots of right hugging first pay attention shoulder right scalp is neutral ready inhales one exhales one exhale five six seven eight nine ten two times exhale inhale exhale five six seven eight nine Ready for three. One, two, three, two. Three, two, three, four. Five, two, three, six. Seven, two, three, eight. Nine, ten. Keep hugging. You really need to hug. Can you see? You need to stabilize so you can move a lot. So stabilization is a lot of work. Which is, if you apply it to your body, it's called a balance or what we call a yeah, stabilization, right? You're gonna, so if I pick my one leg up, I'm stabilized with this leg. This is more important. If this leg's not there, I fall right away, right? But we tend to always look at the movement, right? We're looking at the movement. We're looking how movement, but you forgot. This is more important, stabilization. Balance, okay. So you ready? We're gonna go, we're gonna do the um, chi networking tapping, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm just open a little bit, uh, a little wider than your shoulder. So from after you this, you just come in a little bit. Okay, here we go. The chi networking, which is what meridian and the acupuncture put a needle on the pressure point of those meridian. They all connect to your internal organ. Okay, so from here, uh, we will talk about when it's come to the qigong, but just follow this and get the idea first. Okay, here we go. The rhythm is one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And occipital. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Ready, you cheek, two, three, one, two, three, gently, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Going down, shoulder, one. Inside arm, one, two, three, one, two, three, this is. Okay, this is the favorite rhythm of the Chinese. You hear this on the dragon dance. And palm down, one. And lion and dragon dance in this new year. They go, don, don, chong, don, don, chong. Go, 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 don, don, chong. Ready? Rip cage. <sighs> Below Below the belly button. And turn around, go king knee, so you bend the knee a little bit. Lower rib, okay? And hip. Two sheep. Outside the left leg going down. Just stay down. Lightly rotate the leg so you inside. It's in channel. Other leg, of course. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Lightly rotate and inside the leg. I turn a little bit so you can see. Okay, last part, I'm gonna raise my arm the side of my body on the torso. Of course, other side. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Shoulder down, right? <laughs> and return, wiggle out. Okay, so now we're gonna smooth out all that stimulation, right? It's nice to stimulate it. You take a little breath and go, ah, oh, calm down. So we're gonna brush, brush, in channel, yang channel. From the kidney going down, yang channel. Inner thigh come up to in. Continue the in. The softer side of the body, which is anterior side of your body, is the inside, Y-A-N. And the yang is the back. Let's do one more time. We love all the threes. So we repeat three and slowly smooth out. From the arch of your foot, from the Mother Earth, the energy comes up. Nice three musketeer to your tummy. Okay, great. The last part, there's another very important part. It's not, it doesn't have this specific organ, but we call this three energizer. Okay, so it's area. So your lung and your heart is what protect by your ribcage. So that's here. Oxygen, so three energizer, right? The oxygen give you energy. Special right now, still COVID-19, like the things coming back because we let out all these very unhealthy people. I'm so sorry to say that because the lockdown is not good, okay? So people stay home eating popcorn, watching movie and eating ice cream. And I'm, I'm lucky I have my yard. I can come out because I love to move. If I don't move, I go, so I understand all that. I was, I'm just born that way. I love to move. So every time with through the breast cancer, Lyme disease, divorce, depression, movement lift me up, right? So it's like, wow, I'm so lucky. I love to move, so it's not a big deal. And so I constantly tell people, if you move, your circulation better, right? Because what else? Your oxygen, you gotta breathe. Now, they help you, your brain cells not go depressed. Right? You can just sit in there, talk about all the little, 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 very bad stuff, and you go deeper, sad and sad. So you're gonna lift yourself up. No bitter, things happen. What make you stronger, but not bitter, okay? So here we go. Oxygen through the nose. And then the food. Okay, I'm teaching you building immune system, right? Your body converted food into what? So you better eat good food. No ice cream, no popcorn, no junk. We call them junk, right? So <clears throat> lots of pasta and bread. It's not, once a while it's fine. Once a week or once a month to enjoy because a lot of the country we have, my, I love pasta, Chinese noodle, right? And now going on eliminations, right? So then oxygen, nutrition, let go the waste. So we got too many junk, right? Um, um, microbiome, all the bad stuff stay in. So it affect, remember scientists always say, your back bacteria, right? Affect your brain cell, how you're thinking, how you get depressed. So let's get rid of it. Don't, don't put it in first. <laughs> if you put it in, you gotta get rid of it and go. So that's what your body do. Your body eliminating the waste, right? So you have absorption, absorption. So then the other one is a lymphatic drainage. You know, and then you even every single cell has some molecule that make you what get rid. It's like it's a garbage truck, right? Take all out, natural function. So three energizer. Oh, what kind of bird was that? Hello. Oh, I think it's a mockingbird. Okay, so can you hear that? And very loud, he want to join us. Okay, so three energizers, so that's a simple tapping. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch out. We're gonna open the channel from your neck. There are two arteries. Go bring the blood oxygen to your brain cell. See? Okay, so it's all related. <clears throat> I'm on the side. There's so many ways to stretch the neck. I'm, I, I'm gonna show you this one today. A different one. So I'm going to bring the right ear to the right clavicle. See, I'm keep reaching because I stretch this side. I'm going to bend my knee, your knee too, both knee, and then slide this hand to the ankle. And you see, now I created what thoracic spine flexion laterally. I'll slowly half circle. I'm going forward. Still the thoracic spine forward flexion. You're going to connecting those movements. All the way you end up finishing with the left side. So I'm stretching the right side, neck keep reaching down. 
I reach down more and bring your head right back. Oh, very nice. And directly side, bend your knee. And slowly going forward. Continue moving, moving side. Ear on top of your ear, shoulder in line. Reaching down and floats all the way up. Again, right side, bend your knee. So you need to move. You need to right work on the breath work. And you need to know how to eat healthy to have a healthy lifestyle. So if you have that, your immune system is wonderful. So what doesn't matter yesterday, today, or tomorrow, or 20 years from now, you know how to take care of yourself. So it doesn't matter what happened. You have your what? You have your center. You have your core. You know what to do. Fear will not come to destroy us, right? So, because uh, fear is much easier to sell. So everybody's like, oh, I'm so afraid. Yes, uh, don't be afraid, right? So how can you not to be afraid? You can just say you have to work at it. So I'm sorry, you have to work on it. And you're going to feel so proud because there are other people we need to help, right? If I'm strong, I help other people. And helping other people feel so much better. And try to connect in with you right now, right? So then you can go help others. So when you share, is what love. And uh, teaching strength is love. Teaching weakness, mm -mm. teaching bitter, mm -mm. don't go there because you're wasting your life. You don't go there, you go this way. Keep going better and better. Okay, so what's next? Ah, here we go. We're going to do spine scanning is the last part. Okay, so here we go. I'm turning a little bit. So spine scanning to feel the relationship of the chi flow, right? Movement flow, everything you want to be flow. Speak English, me, right? I need to learn how to be flow as I speak the English, but it is not easy because if I don't practice, you guys will go, oh my God, my ear, right? Here you go, nice and tall, inhale. Five checkpoint, gentle nod your head. Soften the breastbone. As you bend your knee, you use the upper arrow. This is all in the purposeful movement. Inhale. I'm going to hollow my tummy, open the lumbar one. Pull my tummy, open lumbar two. And keep going. So I'm doing nice and gentle sit-ups. There are five lumbar vertebrae we need to open. Okay, so I inhale. Exhale, I'm going to flex my hips. So I fold my body half. Halfway, right? So my neck is long. So the next is thank you. See, don't don't drop the scapula. Okay, keep the scapula. So you have what awareness? Where my scapula should be? Don't let it collapse. So now you decompress the spine, especially the lumbar sacrum area. You get a nice hamstring stretch. The proximal hamstring, right, to the sit bone. We're gonna squat down. If it's too hard for you, if you have a knee replace or any issue, injury, you can do like this, okay? So modification. Otherwise, you come down. Most of you probably gonna be like this. The heel will come up. So you put your hands on the ground, okay? On, or on the floor in your house. And now, since I did this since I was very young, so everything stretch out. Your body's designed to do this. To what? Release the lower back tension because we're upright. See how smart the body is? You just have to tap in. So my knees stretch, my Achilles stretch, your lower back stretch, the between the scapula, rhomboid stretch, and release your neck. So in yoga, they call this child posture, right? It's the fetus position. And in the Qigong Taiji Chen Chinese, we just call it squatting. And in Pilates, we call it shell stretch, like at least little seashell on the beach. Now ready comes in. Spray your toes out. I'm strengthening the arch of my foot. Okay, here we go. Pelvis total upright. If you can get up, which is okay, put your hands on the floor. See, now I look like a frog. My, my back straight. Okay, just stay here. You're already going to feel a lot of stretch. But if you're upright, you do this. 
little pausing, you stretch the quadricep tendon to the patellar ligaments, to, you, the, to your um, uh, tibial tuberosity on, the, on your shin. Another modification, remember you are right here, you just turn and your body upright, right? There's another modification you can try to figure out. So I'm gonna go all the way down. So right here, oh, we we'll challenge the balance. We're gonna strengthen the arch your foot. I'm gonna put my hand, your right hand at the end of the ribcage, the end of the sternum. I slowly contract the left external bit and rotate to the right. So I'm waking up the body. I'm sorry, I know the, how we wake up the body, have a cup of coffee, and we turn. We're stimulating, right? So we stimulate, too much stimulation, and we turn. And exhale, right? So if you move, what do you do? You stimulate the body, you stimulate naturally all the hormones, everything will come metabolized, right? So here we go. And comes in. Hollow tummy as you push down, floats up. All the way up. Nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, I'm release every joint. So finger, wrist, I'm rotating the shoulder joint, so release the shoulder joint. And now your cervical, thoracic, lumbar, hip socket, knee, and the ankle all the way down. Inhale, exhale again, push down, hollow your tummy. So like, as I push down, my tummy goes up. As soon as tummy go up, waking up the, the nerves in the spine, connect to the arm. So I, my arm floats up like a parachute or jellyfish, right? Very light, inhale, exhale. So parachute is made of silk material. Silk is so light and so durable, so strong. That's us. All the way down, open I lower back. Keep on going. Someday your heel will stay on the floor and then you become what? Complete. Inhale, exhale again, push down, hollow your tummy. So floats up. So my arm feels like air. Very light because strengthening is the leg and tummy. So the rest is what getting the message. Floats right up. Nice and tall to sh right neutral spine. Don't pop your rib cage. So you feel the rooting. If you feel the rooting, you can feel your energy continue to go up. All the way up, reach into that blue sky and release the finger or your ceiling or the second floor however you can think i'm gonna come down we're creating what just the arm now we're finishing so you create a guardian chi we'll call wei chi in chinese so it look like what cathedral ceiling like the church and nice and round that's why i can feel my energy from the center emitting out into my hands so that's your what your guardian chi your immune system. So you walk around like you're in this aura, right? So nothing can penetrate you because you have such a strong core, not angry core, not bitter core, right? It's strong. If you're strong, you're soft. We can talk. And we don't have to, what? Hurting ourselves by being angry. Okay, so that's it. And we're going to finish it up. So what happened is there's a lot of things I just show you for warm up. If you don't have time, do what I just did, spine scanning, okay? Because the spine, all that nerve connect to your arm, to your leg, to your internal organ. So in a, even at work, you, if you sit too long, you can just do that one because you have another meeting to run to. So that takes, why right, two minutes. So now I'm at the tensor fascia lata. Here's the bone. Right? Can you feel that's a bone? That's called, that, that bony landmark called the anterior superior, superior sorry, English, and the uh, uh, anterior superior iliac spine. Okay, so A-S-I-S. -S. Below is your tensor fascia lata. That's the one you bend all the time, you get really tight. Okay, going to the little glutes and to the sacrum, up and down. Why we do this release tension, you hopefully already release because we moved a lot, right? And go to the big tush. Okay, patting down again. See, so remember this? Outside your legs. Back side of the leg.
elimination. Another tapping on the breastbone. So inside the breastbone, it shows thalamus gland. Remember the hormone we just mentioned? You got seven gland. Secrete so hormone. If you secrete so correctly, especially at night, go sleep early, okay? So you follow the circadian rhythm. You hear the cicada. You hear the circadian, right? Ah, the circadian rhythm. Same, same sound. And ready? Brushing out. And the up, so in the nature, right? All the animal and the plants know their time, their rhythm, when to bloom, right? When to dormant. And us is the day, which is one day. When should I go to sleep? And you gotta root it down, and add the energy softly floats up. Three times, last one. From the kidney, you brush down. From the Mother Earth, you bring the energy up through the chest and you root it down and the energy flows, flows, flows. So now you celebrate a life. Thank you so much. Again, if all this, <laughs> you have interest to learn more and uh, check out the website for the immersive workshop. See you in my studio. I hope, I really hope so. It's really limited numbers. You know, I usually take about 20 the most to, so I don't want too many. I can't helping everybody, right? So it's very important and a uh, small group and we can pay attention. We have, have, we can have a conversation between the right teacher and the student and between you and your body. Thank you so much. Take good care.